Okay, so I'm working on my pinwheels and they're really cute. They're a little heavy so they don't spin as well as I would like, but it's a really cute idea, great for decorations. And if you made them smaller, um, they may spin a little bit better. So what I'm using is the Deco Magic Light. I'm using our Embellish Heat Transfer Foil and then just some fabric that I had on hand. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Quilter Select eight and a half by eight and a half inch ruler, and I'm going to um, cut my fabric all with my rotary cutter. Love this new 60 millimeter blade. Um, so you're gonna cut your fabric out using the eight and a half inch. You're gonna cut a piece of the um, Deco Magic, R&K Deco Magic Light. You're going to cut that and then you're also going to cut a piece of um, heat transfer foil. Now I love using these quilter select rulers to cut the foil because of the non-stick um, surface on the back it will grab a hold of the foil and as I cut it will turn with my um, it'll turn with me so that I can get all of this cut. So anyway you're going to cut your three pieces and then I'm going to apply the fabric to the glue side of the, uh, the Deco Magic. I'm gonna press that on. I'm gonna go over to my heat press and do that. And then I'm going to also press the foil on the other side of the Deco Magic. Okay, I'm gonna use my heat press, but you can use an iron to do this. Um, so I have my Deco Magic Light on the um, bed of my press and I have the glue side up. I'm going to lay my fabric over top and then I'm going to cover it with a press cloth and I'm going to press it for 10 seconds. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to apply the heat transfer foil to the other side. And again, I'm going to cover it with a press cloth. And I'm going to press that for 10 seconds. And I'm at about 300 degrees. If you're using an iron, you want a silk to wool setting closer to the wool, most likely. And now I just need to let this cool so that I can remove the carrier sheet off of the foil. Okay, so now my foil has cooled and I wanna remove the carrier sheet. I'm gonna use the heat, um, my vinyl weeding tool and see if I can get a hold of just the carrier sheet. This is why we wanna work on um, making my square eight and a half and then I'm gonna trim down to an eight inch. So let me get it release there it comes so now you're just going to remove the carrier sheet which is the clear plastic on the back side of the foil and I have a pretty blue piece and my fabric on the other side now I'm going to take my 8 inch ruler and I'm going to trim it down so I'm just going to take my 8 inch quilter select ruler center it on the fabric <coughs> I'm going to use my cutter and if you're not familiar with how this cutter works, you're gonna hold the button, tap the table, let go of the button. And now the blade is revealed that I can make it cut. And then I'm just going to cut along the um, edges to trim it down. And you can see how I can turn it because of that um, nonstick coating that's on the back of the ruler. Love that. So now I have an eight inch square. Now the other ruler I'm gonna use is the three by 12. This is my favorite ruler, um, especially when I'm doing little projects. So what I want to do now is line it up diagonally. And I want to make sure that one edge of my ruler is right on the corner and then of course comes off the other corner. And I'm going to use the new Quilter Select um, self erase marker and I'm going to draw a line four and a half inches long and then I want to slide the ruler up because these rulers have the numbers going both directions so it doesn't matter where you which direction you're going I'm going to slide this up and again I'm going to draw a four and a half inch line So 
so that I've made like an X up towards the center, leaving the center unmarked. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other two corners. Four and a half inches. Slide my ruler up so I can mark the four and a half inches this way. Now what I wanna do is take my rotary cutter again and I'm gonna slice all of these lines that I've drawn up, leaving the center uncut. <coughs> stop at the mark and here I'll start where I marked and go off the corner I'm going to turn it and do the same thing on the other corners and so that's going to leave me something that looks like this and so now what I want to do is I wanna take my hole punch and I'm gonna punch a hole in the very center, just a small hole. And then on each of these flaps, I'm gonna pull the right hand side of it down. I'm going to fold it down this way, but I'm gonna pu punch a hole right in the, um, in the tip, about a half an inch from the point. And then I'm going to do this one and this one and this one. So each time I turn, I'm taking the right-handed side one. I'm just gonna punch a hole in each one. So I have my holes, and now I'm going to take a wooden dowel. These are 3 8 inch thick and about 12 inches long, nice sturdy ones. And I'm gonna take an upholstery tack or furniture nail, and that's what I'm gonna use for the center of my pinwheel. So to get it started, I want to put it on the end and and go ahead and tap it in a little bit just to get the hole started for you. And pull it back out. So now what I'm gonna do is start putting the tack through the holes that I made. So here's this one. And this one. And now I'm gonna put all of that through that hole that I made in the center. Okay. Now I'm going to put the nail back in my started hole of my dowel. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing is holding it all together. And then I'm just gonna take my hammer again and pound it in. And there's your pinwheel. Quick, simple, easy. Um, you can try using different sizes of um, fabric and the Deco Magic. I worked with the eight inch so that I could do a nice big one. I think they'd be really cute in a flower pot or out in the, along the front of the yard if you're doing a party. My fabric here, of course, could be uh, Memorial Day, Flag Day, uh, Fourth of July. Um, any of those kind of days because of the colors, but have fun with your different fabrics. It doesn't use very much. Great way to use up scraps that you may have around the house um, and love this product. You do want to do the light because the deco, regular Deco Magic is too heavy. So use the Deco Magic light and have fun and post pictures of what you've done.